the eyes to see and the ears to hear. The Revelation of Jesus Christ, Chapter 1. The Revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Word. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. The seven from spirits Jesus of Christ, God. Who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Jesus. Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira. He's saying there's seven churches which are in Asia. Now, we may not understand because we don't have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, but now, if it makes no sense to you, listen. I have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, and I'll show you why. Listen. And unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed so with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. I've met him. My testimony is, I have met him. Oh, that'll be later. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. Mm. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Fear of God. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am a... It's the fear of God. I know that fear. Why would he say fear not? Live forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Chapter 2 Unto the angel of the church of... What is a church? Do they have churches in Jesus' day? Do they have churches? Anybody? Yeah, Christians? Commons. Christians, did they have church in yeah, Jesus' day? Many commons, yeah, but it wasn't a physical place. They had temples. Like they they had synagogues. But what was Jesus doing? What was he preaching against? Religion. Jesus was preaching against religion. That is what his message was. Look at who killed him. Because of what? Because of religion. Listen. Ephesus, right? 
These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst... So when he's talking to a church, he's not talking to a, a, a single place. He's not talking about a single place in Asia. He's writing to the leader of that church in Asia. For some reason, that's a, there's going to be a gathering in Asia. I'm, ga I'm gathering from that. I don't know. This is my own interpretation. But from what I can what I can understand, there's going to be a gathering in Asia where the, the leaders of the seven the seven faiths of that have God as their basis are going to meet. Right. So there's going to be there's, there's he's writing the letters to them saying, now look, I'm the real true God. Yada yada yada. I'm 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 telling you, this is what you're doing wrong in each one of your faiths. What church is, what Jesus said that church is, is when two or three gather in my name and spread and, and spread the word of God, open the Bible. So if you're gathering in, in his name and spreading the word of God, which is opening the Bible and reading it, that is church. Now, do we do that in, in a chapel? Do we do that in a, a synagogue? Do we do that in a temple? No, we read bits and pieces of the Bible and then we have the, the preacher make his interpretations of it. Or his, or what he's learned his of other interpretations from it, right? But now, look, why do you need an interpreter? Can you not read? Does anybody here not know how to read? Why do you need an interpreter? Why do you need a preacher? Why do you need a pastor? Why is that? You cannot interpret your own. How many times have you ever read, ever read a book, going from passage to passage? How many times have you understood a book going from passage to passage? None, zero. You're lying if you're saying you have, or maybe you haven't, but you don't understand that book then. You don't understand that. You do not know what the book is telling you unless you read from the beginning, right? We're, we're starting the book of Revelations right now from the beginning of it. We're not just picking out little verses. And we're, we're going from the beginning. It's important. He's talking about the faith. When he's talking about church, he's talking about when you open the word of God, this is where you're going wrong. He's going to tell, he's going to tell each belief where they're going wrong. Now listen. It's not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. He'll take away the ability. Hast, that thou hatest the mm. deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. I hear. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. If you overcome, if you overcome your religion, if you go against your religion and go for what the truth is, because your religion is what's distracting you. If you're religious, I don't think there's, I don't think there's much hope for people. There's, there's always hope, but there's not much hope for people who are not already of, of some sort of faith, right? You, whether or not you're religious at all. I'm not religious. I'm sacrilegious. I've been sacrilegious for as long as I can make a decision about it. I still am. I'm more, even more so after reading the Bible and hearing what the words are. With what God has a message for us, right? He has words that He wants to give us. If you believe in God, you'll hear the message. If you don't, then don't. But listen, there's, there's whether or not you believe in God, there's something to be heard of. Right. These things set the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Now listen. The synagogue of Satan is what? The Jews, right? The Jewish religion is the synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews, but they are not Jews, for they are imposters. Now listen. If they are imposters, that, that means that they're not the real Jews, because they're, they're, they're imposters. Simple, right? No, not to most people. But look, so... If they're the imposters, if their religion is imposter, if they're the if imposters, why is that? Maybe because if you read the other parts of the Bible, which I, I'm, I'm, I'm going through the whole thing right now, and I'm just taking you on my journey. This is just my YouTube version of my journey. Like, here we go, right? But uh, what what the Jews are is they're 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 distracting with their religion, 
and it's, it's not even a, it's a it's a political mindset it's not the jews are not a, a a race of people it's a political mindset and it's a religion now right it's not it's not a race of people jews you can't be racist against jews because they're not a race of people these, these the jews were were kidnapped by the egyptians and, and they were they're they were held and they were they were enslaved and then they bred them out there was no more Jews after the Egyptians were done with them because they bred them into whatever they wanted. There's no more purebred Jews. There's no there's no more people that consider themselves Jews after that time because they were all bred out and their their beliefs, their their bloodline, everything was just spread throughout the world. So we are we are all probably ch chosen people of God through some bloodline, right? But now the ones that say they are Jews, they are a race number one they think and they are also or we think and they and they're also a political ideology which we know well here, here we'll get to that now look fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days hold on be thou faithful unto i'm going to stop this right now because i want everybody to know I'm not just stopping it because of a 10 minute thing. I'm not getting paid for anything. My my YouTube channel is, I've gotten millions of views and I've got like $7 for it, right? So, yeah. I, I, I never never made a dime off of YouTube and I don't intend to. What? Hold, hold on one second. 